Miami Valley getting into the holiday spirit. Honestly, though, they couldn't have asked for a better night to be outside and watch a tree lighting. It, it is great. And you know, a lot of times, Brian, I'm allergic to the cold, but we're talking about Christmas. We're seeing the tree. Mm -hmm. We need the temperature to come down. We need a winter coat. We need to have some hot chocolate. Well, it's you're going to have opportunities for the weekend. That's for sure, because we have that colder weather on the way. And tonight, well, it's still pretty mild out there, especially uh, in November, mid November, this time of night. Uh, temperatures right around 60 degrees. Clouds increase tonight. We're going to see some late night showers move in. And then uh, cold front's going to bring us a lot of rain on Friday as showers pass through, cutting off as we get to the late afternoon, early evening. And then we'll clear it out tomorrow night. In comes that colder weather for the weekend. And uh, temperatures only expected to be around 50 for the high Saturday, low to mid 50s on Sunday. But we will see a lot of sunshine over the weekend, at least right now. Looks like a pretty nice November day coming our way on Sunday. Uh, 7 o'clock, look for partly cloudy skies, 60 degrees, but will cloud up through the evening as temperatures slip off into the upper 50s. And at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, 54. Overnight low temperature right around 54 degrees. Won't get much warmer than that during the day. Upper 50s, maybe around 60 or the low 60s in a couple locations. But then falling later in the day as the showers wind down as we head toward 4 and 5 o'clock. Temperatures over the next 12 hours just coming down slowly tonight because of the clouds, wind staying up out of the south, milder air moving in, and you can see those daytime highs tomorrow up around 60 degrees over most of the Miami Valley. And then the highs on Saturday only expected to be in the upper 40s north to around 50 to the low 50s south. Uh, so it'll be a cool day, but seasonably cool when you get right down to it. Dry conditions tonight on the Bryant Heating and Cooling Systems camera and live Doppler 2 HD. We're seeing dry weather all across our area, but there are some clouds spreading in from the west. And as I mentioned, those will continue to thicken up tonight. Not a lot of rain showing up right now, but we are getting some showers breaking out southern Iowa, northern Missouri, and we expect more to develop uh, out ahead of that cold front tonight and into tomorrow. So a high chance of rain tomorrow, only about a 40% chance on Monday. And that'll be later in the day when we'll see that chance on Monday. Uh, only a, a three tenths of an inch of rain roughly for the month. And we're looking at 3.3 uh, for the fall season. So all those numbers negative. We're five inches below normal on the rainfall for the year. Right now in Dayton, 61. South southwest wind at eight with a 56% relative humidity. Our weather checkers tonight. Some mid 50s up north. Jeff Cador at Bell Center at 55. But Bill Telsro in Beaver Creek at 64. Let's take a look at that forecast tonight. Uh, increasing clouds, maybe a late night shower, low 54, and then we expect showers tomorrow. Breezy, cooler, cloudy skies, high near 60. And your Storm Team 2 seven-day forecast, mostly sunny Saturday, 50. Sunny on Sunday, 54 after morning low of 30. And then increasing clouds Monday, some late day rain. Rain around Monday night and Tuesday. Looks like colder weather towards the holiday weekend.